So I'm coming into Itasca right now, which is in Hill County and happens to be where I raised all my kids and is my closest uh, area. Um, Itasca is a population of 1,562. It is um, in Hill County. It is um, primarily Hispanic, 40% uh, percent, uh, Caucasian, 46%, and uh, African American is 10%. Um, the average income here is um, about 50000 per household. Um, education is 50-50 graduates. There's only one school, a high school, one middle school, and one interim school. You can see where we are rebuilding some of our gas stations again. That's been there as long as my child was born. He's 30 years old. And this one is brand new. They just built this about uh, a year ago. This is the primary street coming into Itasca. It is uh, well kept. We used to have a Ford uh, dealership here, but he left about a year ago as well. We have another industry uh, for a transmission, the which has uh, brought more um, employment to our area. This building right here I'm really excited about is our new uh, care flight. They just came because we had a need in this area for um, emergency trans transportation. I'm going to go into here. This is our dollar store. It's been here that's our dollar store and then over here we just built a new family dollar store and Dollar Tree so um, that's really good for us this is the railroad uh, museum we call this that because Itasca was originated from uh, the railroad uh, Itasca began as a railroad station for the Missouri, Kansas, and Texas Railroad in 1881 and was incorporated in 1885. So this uh, is the museum that celebrates that. This is the Peyton Football Stadium, which is also our high school stadium, our elementary uh, stadium and our um, intermediate. We only have uh, one school here for the high school, um, middle school, and elementary, and it is all right here. As you can see, as you go into the neighborhoods, the roads are, are a little bit less kept. And this is, the school auditorium where all the graduation happens. This being a small town, it is a small town feel. People do know each other. Um, as I've been driving around, they have been waving at me. <laughs> so this is also the average looking house here. These are all by the school. These are hard-working blue-collar individuals. This is our local store. Yes, I said store. We do, it does have a lot of items in there that you can get. Uh, it stays open a little late so that people can come in. Otherwise, you have to go um, to the next town. This is our um, municipal court our um, city hall and our police station right here um, we are a veteran 
and we love our veterans so this is our Atesca Veterans um, Memorial across there is a community center for Wampus Cat we really are proud of our high schools is our country store as well it has a lot of items from the local Mennonites if you're familiar with them um, they have um, canned foods and um, they can their own foods I guess this is downtown most of these buildings are empty um, you do have some restaurant uh, and a Spanish restaurant over here this is the laundromat for the town it's nice the people there are really nice and this is the post office we only have the one we only have one main street with yes the blinking light uh, we do not have any um, uh, red lights this is the antique shop we are Sunbelt's uh, community, so every corner has a church of some kind. It is multi-religious multi, uh, community. There are some Baptist, uh, Church of Christ, uh, Catholics. This is the bank. We only have one bank. This over here is the community uh, car wash. As I said, these roads uh, do serve uh, and in need of uh, repair. Over here is our electric company, our electric services, our water department, um, any utilities that you have to pay will be here. So, in summary, this is my little town. It is um, very friendly. The transportation here, I'd like to say, we do not have much as far as transportation. Um, we do have a public uh, school system busing. Um, but as far as any public transportation for the community, no. Most, most uh, community walk uh, or they have their bicycles or they have their own transportation. I do know of one young man that, uh, that has uh, started an Uber service around here. I don't know how well that's going, but I'm sure that there's a lot of people that would enjoy that service. Um, getting back to the health, we used to have a um, WIC center clinic, but that no longer is here anymore, so you have to go to the next town, which is the Hillsboro. Outside of that, probably about, I want to say about 15 miles from here is the clinic, but we did at one time have it here. Um, so as far as health services, the, the CareFly is the only health uh, ambulance emergency system that's here and then you have to go on to the next town to get the, uh, any kind of um, medical that you may need. There's no pharmacies here. Um, we are a farming town, as I said, so there's a lot of uh, migrants here. Uh, VA veterans are here. Um, farmers are here. Everyone is um, pretty. If you live here, you live here. I guess that's. I guess is my point. The employment here is about 62% um, and 
as far as local, you know, that that's even less. Most of those do work um, away from here, uh, as I do. I do not work around here. Um, but I have lived and raised my children around here. And you can see the farming and um, areas that are cultivated. Down this street is the um, Fowles Valley. Um, I don't know. I guess it, the um, dumping ground, I guess. Which is local to us. So you can see those the crops here. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, my little town, and uh, thank you for your time.